Hello everyone, ToxicFlim here, back with another video, and today we're playing a game called Space Engine. If you guys want to visit any of these systems, I'll upload them to the locations. Because if I click on my locations, I can add, and then, you know, I'm gonna add this location right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll put this in the description of the video. All of these locations I'll put in the description of this video. You can copy them, paste them to here, and then you should be able to just travel to them. So, yeah. It also has a name there, so you can come here and you can type in the name of it. And, yeah. Basically, that's how it works. Also, just to make this easier, I'll rename this to just to just be Disca, so you guys can come to this solar system easily. Any, but this looks like a very icy planet. You can imagine, um, if it wasn't so icy, you could imagine that all these little darker areas could be filled up with water. Wow. All right. Uh, volcanoes. There are also big mountains and volcanoes in this game, which is pretty. The thing, if you guys couldn't quite hear, was that you can get as close to the planets as you want, really. And, you know, you can see a lot of detail here. You can also go over to these things, and you can see, oh, this thing's got mountains, or oh, this thing's got volcanoes or something. And yeah, that's basically it on this planet. There's not much more you can see. Of course, all the detail of all these um different you know things. It even has a storm, like a large storm on it. Wow. It doesn't have any moons. These right here are moons, but they're more just asteroids, so they're like not really moons. Also, this has no major moons, the planet we just visited, so we're gonna move on to the next one, which also doesn't have moons, but it's still pretty cool. Anyways, ah, uh, look at that blue color. Honestly, this is just insane. It's even got a large white spot there. This is like a tiny, this is a tiny one though. A tiny planet. Oh, look at that. That's, that's gonna be my thumbnail just so you guys know. Probably. It might be, alright, we'll see. It might be a thumbnail, but that's definitely thumbnail material. Wow. This is insane. This game is truly incredible. I want to see the major moons here. This is the only moon it has, and it's, it's got moss on it. No way. Is that moss, or is that just like... that? That's not moss. I don't know what I'm thinking. This doesn't have an atmosphere or water, so it can't have moss. But it definitely does look like moss, doesn't it? That's really cool. I want to go here and see what it looks like down here. Whoa! That's thumbnail material also. Wow. This is an incredible game, I'll be honest. The detail. By the way, I named all these planets myself, which is why they got pretty bad names, but, you know, I had to come up with something that wasn't the, um, default names, because the default names are just the name of the star, and then the, um, little thing here, the number of, um, in which order they are from the star, this is fifth planet from the star, this island's got a giant volcano on the top of it, wow, like, Imagine living on that island, on this island here. 
I know on Earth there are islands with some um, volcanoes on them, but like that's a, a large volcano, like a really, really big volcano. Whereas this one's more of like a flat thing, but it does go pretty high into the sky. Yeah, you can see one of the moons over there. Um, yeah, right here is a small mountain range. Or a more, they're more like tiny hills than mountains. But still, that just proves my point that this planet is really cool because it ev it has like a whole bunch of geological things that make it really cool. It almost looks exactly like Earth, honestly. Like, it, you, you know, it's got the mountains along with some, like, rivers and ravines. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can only go under the water, though, if it's shallow. Like, that lake's a pretty shower, shallow lake. And, yeah, it's a pretty neat planet. Let's see what it looks like. So, I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna turn on the clouds. Yep. As imagined, you can't really see much. Like, if I'm looking directly at the star, you can't even tell that it's there. Like, that's where... Um... The little arrows pointing somewhere, that's where the star is. Like... The clouds are that thick. This is like Venus. You know, there's three different spots here. I don't know what. Honestly, this kind of, like, if you look at it. One, two, three. There's little mountains in the center of most of these. Or near the center. Which makes it look like an asteroid impacted there. That had that liquid on it. Like maybe that's what happened. And it never actually had its own liquid. But all these asteroids. Like maybe it had a moon. That um. Like a small moon. That had a lot of methane or liquid green on it. Or whatever it's called. And it came to. And it was orbiting too close to the planet. And broke apart. And left all these giant craters of like methane or something all right next planet it's another gas giant or ice giant i should say because that's what it is yeah another ice giant this one's got a weird tilt definitely like the rings are not proper it's got large rings though the biggest rings out of any of these things. Now, all of these moons are big enough that I could actually label them. Because that's basically what I did, because I didn't want to label every single individual moon, so I kind of just labeled them. You know. Whatever. But look at that. You can zoom in also in this game. Like... I guess that makes it easier so that I don't have to actually land on the planet. I can just zoom in and still get all that mm, great detail. Like, you can't see it from here, from outer space, but once you zoom in, you can see all this weird green stuff going on. Going on. That's weird. But. This looks like it has an atmosphere. Yep, it does. And it has liquid water. It even got some green stuff on it, like grass. Is that grass? We're gonna find out. Is this planet suitable for humans? Like, could humans live here? Yep, that's grass. It's confirmed. Humans could live here, because it's literally got some, like, dead grass, or deadish grass. Not healthy grass, that's what I mean. This grass is very unhealthy, but. It's still grass. Like, you can see it's got a lot of water on it. You could really live here. Does it have a thick cloud layer? Yeah. Like most of the 
planets like this, most of the smaller planets, it has a really thick cloud layer. So, it's kind of like Titan. Wait, you can actually sort of see the star. So this one's in, this cloud layer's not as thick as the other ones. Actually, I'd say you can't really. Maybe if I change the exposure mode, definitely not, no. But at least it's got, um, what I would presume to be an oxygen atmosphere because of that blue color. Well, I guess oxygen isn't really what might make it blue. I don't know what makes it blue, but it just looks like our atmosphere, and our atmosphere is oxygen. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we have Dame. Alright, yeah, another boring gray moon. This has an extremely thin atmosphere, but uh, you probably can't see it on the video, but it's changing colors ever so slightly. You, you probably wouldn't be able to see it on the video. That's how small the, that's how thin the atmosphere is. It's so thin that you can easily see stars in the day. Not even a challenge. Like you can, it's so clear that you can even see some of the planets during the day. Some of the closer ones. Maybe not. Maybe it's only just smaller asteroids that you can see during the day, but still, that's crazy. Um, this is also a boring old moon, but yeah, pretty cool. I doubt where you'd expect water to have been or to be, but of course... It's more of a to have been because there it doesn't seem to be any water there. Yo, what what's causing that weird light? What's the biggest moon it's got? It doesn't really have any big moons, so I don't know what's causing that light. Is it close to maybe this one? Nope, it's not even It's really not close to that one. But it's got northern lights, which is really sick. That's cool. It's got northern lights, it's got grass, it just doesn't have water, which is very strange. Or at least, like this liquid water, that's not water, there's no way that's water. That's like, methane or like, green, just green, it's just green. <laughs> Let's be honest. It also doesn't have any moons. It's weird, the two planets would... Okay, the only planet with the largest set of rings does have moons, but none of its moons are interesting. Whereas these ones with smaller rings, but big planets still, uh, they don't have moons. That's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll probably be doing more of this game because it's pretty fun to play, and yeah, look at this. You can literally zoom all the way out to the edge of the universe. Look at this. This is the edge of the universe, no joke. Like, this is as far out as you can go in this game. And that's where the Milky Way is, you can't even see it. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and that's it from Toxic Flame for today. Bye.